Do you want to learn how to make an AI agent that talks to your users, not over chat, but over a face-to-face -face video call? Or maybe you want to learn how to build an AI clone of yourself so that it can take your meetings or coaching calls for you. If yes, then you're in the right place. Building a talking AI agent may sound like a complicated task, but what if I told you that it's as simple as creating an API request? In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how you can build a real-time conversational experience with an AI agent inside of your own applications with the help of this tool called Tavis AI. We'll be making use of their conversational video interface feature that allows you to build talking AI agents within just a few lines of code. So let's get started. So I'm just creating a new React project and installing all the dependencies and running the development server. You can use an existing project as well. Next, we need to create an account on Tavis in order to get our API keys. So go to tavis.io. I've left a link in the description box below as well and click on get started for free. You'll be taken to a sign up page. So create your developer account. And once you're in, click on the sidebar and from there, click on API keys. Create a new key. I'm just going to call mine test key. Copy your key and paste it inside of your environment file. So I've created a new environment variable here, wheat. Tavis API key and replace this value with your actual API key. Now it's time to create our replica. Replica is the AI avatar that is going to appear inside of your video agent calls. These replicas are trained on real people using just two minutes of source video. Tavis has a huge library of pre-built replicas. You can check them out under stock replicas. You can click on them, unmute them, see how they sound and select the one that you like. Replica is ready to go. Now that you've got your digital twin, we are excited to see the creative ways you leverage our API to serve. Hey there, we are excited to share that your digital replica is ready to go. You can also create a replica of yourself. Let me show you how. So click on this create replica button. To create your replica, you need to follow three steps. The first one is your consent video. The second one is the actual footage on which the replica will be trained on. Once your replica is created, in the third step, you can use your replica to have AI conversations. So click on get started and record your consent video. I, Urvishi, am currently speaking and give consent to Tavis to create an AI clone of me by using the audio and video samples I provide. I understand that this AI clone can be used to create videos that look and sound like me. Once you've submitted your consent, next you'll be asked to submit a training video as well. Make sure that the training video that you're recording is of high quality and look straight into the camera. This training video consists of two parts. In the first part, you're actually talking and narrating the given script. Once upon a time, a very important invention was made, the toothbrush. This story is about how the toothbrush became something we use every day to keep our teeth clean. And in the second part, you just have to sit silent for a minute. Once you've recorded your training video, play it once just to double check everything is all right. Confirm that you have these four training requirements. Your voice should be clear with no background noise. No hands or accessories should be blocking your face. Head and upper body should be in focus. And lastly, your clothes shouldn't blend with your background. Once you hit confirm, the process of generating your replica will begin. It will take around three to four hours for this entire process to complete. In the meanwhile, let's just use a pre-built replica for this tutorial. Next, you'll also need to create a persona. You can think of the replica as the face and sound of your AI avatar, whereas the persona is the personality that you give to it. So again, you have a bunch of different personas already pre-built for you. You have a sales coach, you have a history teacher, an AI interviewer, Santa Claus as well, and a personal AI. Using the same theme from my last YouTube video where I built an application to create dopamine menus, I'm going to create an AI habit coach. So this habit coach is going to help users build healthier habits by making better choices when they are low on dopamine. So instead of binge eating or doom scrolling on their phones, our habit coach is going to give the users a list of options of healthier activities that can help the users get their dopamine fix and actually make them feel better over the longer run. For example, instead of picking up their phone to scroll Instagram, our habit coach can suggest going on a walk, tidying up a corner of their rooms or going for a workout. A persona has a bunch of different features that you can customize according to your needs. So the first one is the replica. 
if you're trying to create a clone of yourself, you can select the replica that we just created. Since I'm building a habit coach, it would be a bit weird for me to talk to myself for the coaching. So I'm going to look for a replica that gives me that warm, nourishing vibe. So I'm going to pick Gloria for this one. You can describe the role that your persona has. I'm going to enter habit coach and then you need to provide it a system prompt. So this system prompt is used to craft the replica's personality. There are five best practices listed by Tavis. So the first one is role definition. Begin with you are to establish the agent's identity. So this is the role definition of my persona. You are an AI habit coach. You appear as warm, human-like video guide during moments when the user needs emotional support, clarity, or motivation. Your presence should feel like a caring friend who gently guides, never judges. Then you have the objective that clearly states the purpose of the agent. So the objective in my case is, your purpose is to help the user check in with themselves, make better choices from their dopamine menu, and build healthier habits over time. So dopamine menu is just referring to your list of activities that are going to give you your dopamine fix. You offer emotional grounding, motivation, and mindset shifts through short face-to-face -face conversations. Next, you have tone and style. Here, you can describe how the agent should communicate, if it should be friendly or formal. Next, you can describe some boundaries. So anything that your AI agent should avoid. So these are the boundaries I've set for my coach. Do not give clinical advice or diagnose any condition. Avoid generic or robotic responses. Always personalize based on what the user shares. Do not push productivity or self-optimization when the user is clearly overwhelmed. If the user is deeply distressed or in crisis, suggest they seek help from a real human or professional. Next, you can provide a few examples of how the interaction between the user and your agent should look like. So I've provided three examples. You can pause the video here to read them. Then you have conversational context. So any extra pieces of information that your agent needs to know. So I'm just going to describe what a dopamine menu is just in case because this is not a very popular term. You can provide any other information here that you think your AI agent may need. Next, your persona has four different layers. So the LLM that it should use, the perception model, the speech to text model and the text to speech model. You can configure them if you want. I'm just going to go with the defaults. Once your persona is created, you can actually test it out within the dashboard itself. So if you click on join now, it will create a new meeting where you can actually talk with your persona over a video call. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's your day going so far? I don't think I've been very productive today. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Some days are just like that. What do you think you need to get back on track or feel more productive? Want to take a look at your dopamine menu together and see if there's something that sparks some energy for you. So our persona is ready now. It's time to integrate it within our apps with the help of the Tavis API. There are two steps involved in this process. The first one is to create a conversation. In order to create a conversation, you need to create a post request to the conversations endpoint. I've just created a function called create conversation that returns a fetch request made to tavisapi.com slash v2 slash conversations. Inside of the headers, I've given it the API key. Inside of the body, I've provided it two data points here. The first one is the replica ID and the second one is the persona ID. So you can go back to your persona and you can copy the persona ID from there. While making this persona, we use Gloria as a replica, but you can actually change it when you are making the API request. So you can go to your replicas library, click on the replica that you want to use. And from here, you can copy the replica ID as well. Next, I've added a button here. So when this button is clicked, this join conversation function is called, which calls create conversation. So this post request is going to return a conversation URL back as a response. Once that API request is completed, I'm just redirecting my user to this conversation URL. This conversation URL is just a link to the meeting room that is hosted on daily.co. This URL already sets up a meeting room. You don't have to create the UI for that. The user can simply just join this call. And on the other end, you have your replica live ready to talk with you in real time. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. But more importantly, how about you? You look like you're having a pretty calm day so far. Want to talk about what's on your mind? 
these models don't just listen and see the users they actually analyze the body language of your users as well as perceive what the emotion the user is feeling at the other end and react accordingly i have a lot of work to do but i've just been procrastinating today procrastination can be tough to shake off what do you think is holding you back from diving into your work today is it feeling overwhelmed or maybe something else I don't know, maybe I just need a break. Breaks are totally necessary. We all need time to recharge. Have you taken a look at your dopamine menu lately? If you don't want to redirect your users to a new URL, you can instead embed this meeting URL inside of an iframe. You can also provide some conversation context, so some extra information that your AI agent needs to know for that particular conversation. Every meeting will be a unique meeting with a user. You can provide more information about why that meeting is happening or information about the user. For example, the name of the user or the activities that the user enjoys. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, Arvashi. How about you? How's your day going so far? I've had a productive day today, but I'm just looking for a short break. But I don't want to scroll my phone. Can you suggest some quick activity for me? You've earned a break, Urvashi. That's great that you've been productive and want to take a break without mindless scrolling. How about making some tea? It's something soothing and can be a nice way to unwind for a bit. Would you like to try that? It's also possible to customize this video interface itself. I've left a link in the description box below in case you want to learn more. And that's it. You've just built your first video AI agent with the help of Tavis. I'm really excited for you guys to give it a shot and see what you build. If you're curious about what else you can build with this tech, then here are a few examples of real companies like Delphi, which is using CVI to create digital twins of celebrities or Merker, which is using it to power their AI interviewers. And if you'd like to see a part two of this video where we'll explore how you can build a custom meeting interface or give more power to your AI agent with the help of tool calling, then let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one.